So beautiful things so far. Uh, so let's go to our controller and create apply for payout and mark as paid. Now we're going to go to accounts controller, scroll all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Drag this around a little. Accounts controller. So anywhere, I will just most likely put it just under the index. Yeah, somewhere here. So we're going to do public function. This and uh, request. It's receiving a request because it's post request, and we're good. And we'll create this. We need to create a second one for mark as paid. Mark as paid. Beautiful. Now, what do we need to do here? I like to always outline everything I need to do in my form, which is um, receive uh, account ID, check if log in user is same as owner of account. So we don't want somebody um, secretly sending the form so that um, to play somebody else's account. Finally, update account table table to um, of which field paid field applied field applied for payout field field in accounts table period. Then of course display message. Uh, redirect display message success message success message so these are the things we need to achieve here so we can now start coding so the first one is um, um, if we look here in the field let's get back let's just get some things right if we look um models in the resources we are looking at accounts show what what's what's here is the, the opening tag of the form that contains this route and uh, we don't need this Oops. so the form just basically sends to a uh, uh, account dot apply for pay, payout period so we're removing this all right, so now what does it actually send? It doesn't send anything because the form is basically empty. It just has a, a button. It's basically empty. You understand? So we don't need it empty like that. We need to put a secret or hidden button. So I'll say hidden. I'll say input hidden. Sorry, input type equal to hidden. And then we'll add a value. The value should be the ID. All right, so the account ID, and that's it for this. We'll just do something like this. But we need to give it a name. Say name. The name is, um. I think we should call it this. Apply for payout. Beautiful. And then the next one is here. Input account ID. So we'll call it Marcus Paid. Beautiful. So we are sending something actually. So we we need to receive that thing we sent from our controller. I'm trying to close up all these extra files so that from controller we can. All right. Um, account repository. Beautiful. So here we can say that if we want to receive the content of that file, we can say request. Inputs inside inputs, we can now have something like this or uh, apply for payout for payout. That's how we receive the content of the form in Laravel. I'm trying to close out account repository accounts. Beautiful. All right, so if we come here. That's how you receive the content of the form. We gave it this name. That's why we're able to receive it uh, right here. Now we have to save this in a variable. We can call it inputs. That's what I want to call mine. Call yours anything. Now with this, we can now query the database. All right. Now we can now say to the database, you know, this contains the account. The the contains the account ID. We can now go to the database and say account. 
um, find and um, we can now put the ID which is we can now access it from input ID or input or you can just copy this directly it doesn't matter how you do it so this this basically goes to this database to check if this exists for me due to my laziness I like to just go and copy a what already exists here for instance uh, if we go to show so that show receives an ID and tries to find without fail so I'll copy all this go here where is it account repository tries to find the content of the account if it's empty through an error that is if the account doesn't exist through an error and then otherwise we also need to check we now we can now start checking things um, because this is using ID I think what we're going to use is this we'll copy this change it to beautiful so this um, request is passed in ID user ID is passed in here we'll go to the database check and then if if the account is found cool then we can start doing other things the next thing we want to check is if the logged in user is the same as the person requesting so we're gonna do if the logged in user of the logged in user ID is not the same just to close early is not the same as account ID account user ID account user ID beautiful throw an error the same thing we did here account not found error um, you cannot it, it's an account that is not yours you cannot you can only perform this you cannot perform this operation on an account that is not yours or whatever error message you want to display next uh, we don't want it to redirect to index because only admin has access to index so we're going to redirect back wherever it's coming from we we'll redirect to that page back that's how you do it in Laravel the same thing here we throw an error and then we we'll redirect back finally we've sorted out all the on um, this second tool now we need to do we need to update the apply for payout field and redirect give a flash message show success message and redirect we'll do that in the next video because this video is already too long